everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I am smiling today because first off, I'm at work and what other better place to work than amongst all of these uh, supermodels here. Secondly, we are doing a video on uh, a great car and you're probably saying, well, Tony, it seems to me that you have a lot of great cars. And I'd say, you know what, thank you for saying that. You're absolutely right. However, this in general, uh, this specifically, but in general, we have great cars, specifically this car here. I drive all the cars, but I don't go very far in them sometimes. Sometimes I drive them farther. This, I've driven a little bit farther, and this is a great car. This is a, I don't know how to explain it to you. Like an MG convertible is a fabulous car, but this coupe feels like it was built by like by hand right uh, this has also been restored so it's really nice and it's and it's just so good looking it's so British looking and inside it's so British looking too and it's got great power and it just drives down the road and when you drive this car people are giving you this and that's why I get so excited about talking about these cars so all right so let's uh, spend a few minutes we're gonna walk around look at the quality of the car so you know what you're getting uh, secondly we'll talk about some changes or some things that you could do to it if you want to and uh, we'll get inside, we'll get under the hood, we'll get in the back, we'll talk about functionality, we'll talk about uh, converting this over to a V12. I was just kidding. Uh, anyway, let's get started. All right, so many times people will say, Tone, that's a great looking car. And I say, you know what, you're absolutely right. But let me show you a couple reasons why it's a great looking car, all right? For instance, and there's expensive parts that make a car great looking. That's why some cars are plain and some look much better and why this car looks much better. For instance, uh, these are real knockoff wire wheels, okay, with disc brakes inside here. Keep in mind, a lot of 60s vintage cars, we're doing this video in 2024. This car is almost 60 years old, 60 years old. Uh, and it's amazing. Anyway, uh, so it has uh, disc brakes in here. We have the real uh, knockoff wires, right? All new polished chrome, stainless pieces like this. These Tag Heuer decals are kind of reminiscent back to say like the Miller Miglia races and things like that. These peel off, they're just decals. You don't have to have them on there if you don't want to. We'll take those off. The driving lights, uh, I think they look great. You don't have to have those. We can take those off. You can put them in the back. Uh, you can also take the covers off as well. And I didn't know how to take those off, so I should probably do that. But anyway, um, I just think they add a whole nother level of good look to the mug of this car. This has a great grill, right? And it has an MG grill uh, badge there and a US badge there. Maybe whatever country you're love from from, whatever, you can always do some enamel badge like that. Uh, I ramble on about some of this stuff because I know we restore cars and it takes a lot of time, money, and effort to do all those things. New glass, new weather stripping, new wipers, wiper arms. And you're like, Tom, what do I care about wiper arms? How much could they possibly be? You're absolutely right. They are not the most expensive part on the car, but they're often an overlooked part that people don't do because you know what? They've done so much, they don't want to do any more. Here, we've done all that. The vent right here, all re-chromed. Windshield squirters, re-chromed. Antenna, redone. Glass, redone. All of this handle, stainless, bumpers, on and on and on. And that's why these cars take so long and cost so much to restore. And this is why you want to buy one done like this. Then throw in the fact that it needs paint and body, which can take six months, a year to get done. I've had cars painted to two years to get done. Oh my God. You could be driving this car this weekend. How cool is that? All right, so come on up here. Signal red paint. When you get a chance while you're looking at the paint, if uh, Amber doesn't mind, want you to see what the, the ceiling in the paint. Don't look at the paint, look at the ceiling in the paint and see how crystal clear that is. And then we throw in this here with the letters of the description and look how crisp and clear all of those letters are that you can see, right? And that'll give you a better idea of what kind of quality paint you have. This is shiny and beautiful in here for a reason. You know why? Because it's shiny and beautiful. Okay. All right, so many of our clients are enthusiasts, meaning that they just want to get a cool car to drive on a Friday, go to soccer practice, take, uh, go out to dinner and something like that, right? And other people want to go to a show. Uh, if either way, whatever it is you want to do with it, I feel like this car fits super, super well with that. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay. 
this is really nicely detailed inside here, right? You got the side draft carburetors here. You got this nice polished valve cover. You have a polished upgraded radiator. The radiator is twice the size of the, of the normal one. This also has an oil cooler built in. And you say, well, Tom, why is that a big deal? Why do I want an oil cooler? And I'm going to share with you why real quick. Because you want to be able to drive to the beach in this car. You want to idle in traffic and those kinds of things and the car not overheat, right? You really want that. If it was me and I owned this car, I would also add an electric fan to the outside of this here so it's always pushing some air through. This way, if you're stuck in super hot traffic, you don't have to worry about it overheating. But this does have climate control too, so we're expecting you to kind of use this in the winter time as well. So it has the heater system is there, the braking system and master cylinder is there. Uh, also nicely detailed with decals and stickers and what have you. The Vintag is still in its place. The engine compartment is painted. Underneath here is painted. It just looks nice when you open the hood. It's show quality and you can really, really enjoy it if you decided you wanted to do that. Or if you just want to stare at it, right, and polish this little piece over here and polish that little piece over here, that's exactly how I would like to own a car. I don't want to rebuild and do all this stuff. This is exactly that kind of car. So when's the last time you bought a functional sports car? An oxymoron. There's no such thing as a functional sports car. However, in the case of this here, we might have something like that. Let's take that for a second. What I do love is this right here. This is one of the best looking emblems of any car ever made, right? MG with the MGB GT call out right here. Great stainless here. Stainless exhaust has been added to it. So it's got this great growl to it as you're rolling down on the road, okay? And then you have this right here, which is just functional. It's functional. The back seat folds down. You have this whole area in here. You can go to Home Depot, pick up some stuff on a Saturday or Sunday. How much fun would that be? Underneath here uh, is the spare tire with the jack, the tools, a pair of gloves just in case, right? Another wire wheel as well. All nicely detailed in here. And you say, well, Tony, isn't it supposed to have all this stuff? Well, it's supposed to have all this stuff, but nine times out of 10, we don't get it. This has it. It gives you an idea of the level of restoration that somebody wanted to finish it and make it really nice. These hinges have been re-chromed. The latches for the rear seat have been re-chromed. It's just super, super nice. This works like it's supposed to. And listen to how it closes. All right, I'm stepping back so that you can walk up to the car. I love this shot where we shoot this and you're, it's like you walking up to your car. You're coming from Friday work. It's four o'clock. You're like, oh, what a week, mother of God. And then you walk out and you go, oh, that's right. I drove the MG today. Nice. Nice. My day's getting better already. And you come and you're smiling. You're looking at this. And then you go ahead and you get inside. And this, my friends, is Fabo. All right, so why do we do this inside? Well, we do it for a couple of different reasons because you've seen the pictures of the inside and that might be great, but the video does something that the others doesn't. I'm 6'1", and I still have room in here uh, to sit. This seat is slid all the way back. You could slide it up. There's room back here for uh, people to sit if you want to. Or maybe you take the dog with you as well. Huh? How you doing? All right, in here we have what I say is a high-end dash. You say, Tom, what's a high-end dash mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means. What it means is Smith's gauges, right? Smith's gauges are the same thing they put in AC Cobras, many other cars, uh, Jags and things like that, uh, with a 7,000 RPM tax showing the yellow right before the red line, okay? 120 mile an hour speedometer, beautiful gauges here on the left and right. You got water, you got oil, double gauge there. You got the original stereo in the car, right? It says British Motor Corporation. BMC was the name of it, right? Uh, and how it migrated into MG. The speaker here for the stereo system, what a lot of people do here is we hide a stereo system, a digital sound system in the glove box for you, keeping the dash all kind of stock, okay? And then uh, this way you can stream your music and do all that stuff. Here we have a couple small stickers just left in place just so you can know what everything does. Once that's done, you just peel those off and you don't, unless you want to get some, uh, they make a couple metal tabs that would tell us as well. Wood shift knob and listen to that, click, click. 
There's something about this Moto Lita style wheel. This is a Moto Lita uh, style wheel with the wood, the stainless. Uh, it fits in your hand, right? This whole thing is connected right here. These were super popular cars, man, and they were, they were, they were great cars to drive and things like that. But they weren't super reliable. So a lot of the things that would have failed in these cars has been replaced with modernized versions of those parts. So you also get some heat, right? Which is very nice. You can decide how you want it there. You want it here. Here, you want it on your feet, the red piping. This is leather, man, it's not vinyl. Uh, and everything in here from the new headliner to uh, the uh, visors, the piping on the doors. I mean, it's like a like British style. Just a super cute car, polished sill plates down there. This is nice. And so that's a lot of times, back to my original statement is, people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why. So we talk about the piping and the wood and the gauges and the headliner, like all this really high end stuff. It's just very nice. All right, so I like to close up the videos, kind of run down a lot of the little expensive stuff that we that we discussed along the way because we talked about a lot. So we're talking about new body and paint, right? That can be that can be up to twenty thousand dollars just for a really great paint, right? Uh, the wire wheels and tires, another couple thousand. The new leather interior with the red piping, another forty five hundred. By the time you add in headliner, carpet, stuff like that, new chrome, new stainless. You can see how quickly the the price can escalate to restore a car. Not to mention, it's two to three years before you can even enjoy it. That's why this is the only way to buy a car, man. Let somebody else restore it. Let them drive it for a little bit it's still a great car right and you don't have to wait all that time you don't have to spend all that ridiculous amounts of money and you can be wheeling it by the weekend how cool is that anyway call us 301-816-1000 we'll tell you all about this super cool mgb gt that's a full mouthful i love that and if you don't mind hit the like button down below that helps us get the message out subscribe to the channel we get new stuff coming out all the time and if you uh, don't mind share that with your friends too i think they would like the video and i will see you on the next one.